Welcome back to Learn SKN. Just a quick update on the ongoing saga of the leaked math paper two for the 2023 exam cycle. And so CXC have they released their official word. They had a press conference today to address the all oh, the breach and what they plan to do going forward in terms of how uh, they are going to assess the math for 2023. And so this, these I have some pointers as to what came out of this press conference, the short form. And so we'll delve into it right now. But you know what to do? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to know when learn SKN drops more videos. All right, so first things first, CXC knows where the bridge took place. They know where the league came from. They know right down to the very center where the leak came from. The island is Jamaica. It came from Jamaica. And they did not really reveal any persons that were guilty of this. They didn't really call any name of the center, but they know where it came from. And so they are going to continue uh, looking into it. And as far as that center is concerned, they said that they removed all papers from that center. So all papers that that center would have had have been removed so that they don't leak any more exam papers so that's one thing that came out of this press conference they say that you know if they go further and they're able to you know name names police might be called in because some person suggests that it's a criminal a criminal matter they said that the paper in question was spread across the region you know social media everything can fly real fast across the region so they don't really have it is, it was not contained it was just everybody people in chat in group chats and whatsapp and things like that so the whole paper just spread across the region so you know once that cat is out of the bag cannot really go back in so that's one thing that they were able to point out someone asked a question as to why they did not reset right because the solution that they came up with as i said earlier in a shot they are going to assess maths based on the paper one and the SBA or paper three if you're a private candidate so it's similar to what they did for 2020. So they are going to, your max, your grades are going to be determined for math. We'll be determined, just math only, will be determined by your paper one score and your SBA score. So when asked why they didn't just receipt a new paper, a fresh paper, um, Dr. Wesley, who is in charge of CXC, he said that, you know, the mental state of the students were taken into account because it might be difficult to go and, you know, receive the whole exam you would have prepared for that exam it's gone now now to work up your mental capacity to actually go and reset math again might be a little bit more stressful a little bit too stressful on the students so that's one reason why there was no reset and another reason being the fact that marking time right they already have the marking time scheduled when they expect to get results and to reset the exam would kind of prolong that marking period and so people want their exam results to matriculate into college university etc so that was also taken into account as to why no receipt receipt wasn't really the best solution also the fact that exams are already in full swing right six already in full swing would be hard to carve out the proper time or date you know line up that date for everybody's free to go and reset the exam everybody in exam mode math is behind them mentally they don't want to go they'll be hard to learn about time and get children ready to get that out of the way again so those are some things that were taken into consideration when considering the course of action so no reset because of those reasons and so i mean we this thing is very very troubling very sad actually that and i can see why they wouldn't want to reset like, I, like for me personally it will be difficult for the students but I'm not going to talk for students. You have the, the, the comment section. Make sure you drop a comment as to which solution you, you would have prefer, preferred. Or if you're able to see where six was coming from when they said that it's in the best interest of the students not to reset. All right, let me know what you think. A question came up uh, in the press conference about the exams that were conducted just after the breach and before the solution was mentioned. So they're saying that students might have been you know, under stress, thinking about what solution might, they might come up with while they were doing their exams today, the 19th, 
yesterday the 18th so maybe while you're in the exam room doing whatever exam is sat today and yesterday you're thinking lord what's gonna happen with the maths i don't know if the maths well i have to reset what's gonna happen with the math so they say that that might have had some mental impact on you guys let me know if that's true or not but the dr wesley said that you know they're gonna take that into consideration to a certain extent but for the most part they're focusing more mainly on the math 2023 paper 2 exam so that might not really fair with them but we'll we'll see how that goes all right so that's basically the synopsis of the press conference they had today it only lasted about 37 minutes so it's kind of short they took answers from some of the media that were online with them and that's what came out of it so let me know what you think about the overall this this whole saga what do you think where the whole breach do you think they make the right choice by not resitting and just focusing on paper one and SBA and paper three? I mean, for me, this is very heartbreaking because I, I've seen students work hard, extra class, money was spent to go extra class. Teachers had, you know, boot camp sessions, you know, all nighters. Students really worked hard for this exam and to see it all was for naught because the reality is the paper one can be tricky for some students right so now you have to go in and make sure you work every single option backward forward to make sure that you're on point with the answer right so your multiple choice is heavier now than it was before so make sure you do your best to study for the multiple choice i know the the sba has gone in already some person would have had a good grade for that one especially if you did it as a group so that's kind of good that, you know, that weight will be increased. But like, uh, it's just not a, an ideal situation. But this is what the best that CXC said they can work with. So my, so I feel bad for those who would have did, did tried their best on the paper too, only for it to be cast aside and nullified and rendered useless. So I feel really bad for those students. But there are some of you I know you will be celebrating because the reality is, that paper to me to knock you out, do some real licks, and say so you might have been relieved that you know they showed that they showed that through the window because now you have a better chance to get start from scratch from the paper one. So I know some would be happy, some wouldn't be, and you know overall it's it's not an ideal situation. I don't see it as any win win for anybody. The best course of action would for it to never happen. But it happens, so I have to deal with that now. So make sure you go and study, jam those paper ones. Uh, I don't think they, they never mention if there'll be a new paper one, you know, formulated for this. They're saying that, you know, it's there, whatever they did already, it's gonna be the same 60 multiple choice. So let's hope that it's neither easier or harder, it's just what it was supposed to be. So that's basically much of what I have to say on this topic. Let's hope that no other exams get leaked and persons have to go through this all over again right they also said that they are looking into online you know to see but the region is not fully capable of conducting online exams for everyone so that's still uh in the you know the conceptualization phase so that, that's not going to be executed anytime soon all right folks so that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comments like subscribe share and you know use the rest content to help you pass your rest exams all right thanks for watching thanks for listening